couple of local health groups providing special care to children with special needs. Ryan Rumba joins us live with a look at the facility and details on an upcoming event. Good morning, guys. Yes, I'm here this morning at the Sandy Cook Healthplex, but it doesn't look like it usually does when we're here. I'm actually at the Pediatric Therapy Center for Capital Region. I'm joined this morning by Nikki. Good morning. Good morning. And we were just chatting. This might this is an area that people might not know exists, mm -hmm. especially if you come work out at the Healthplex. You don't expect this area. Tell me a little bit about where we're at. Yep. If you walk into the Healthplex and you walk on back to work out, you're not going to see it because you have to make a right and come back into our pediatric area. Mm -hmm. We have. Um, five different rooms that we uh, work with the children in and we offer occupational, physical, and speech therapy okay. services. And you're a speech therapist. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis I see between 10 and 12 patients and most of them are kids and mm -hmm. they range in age from birth all the way up to age 21. Okay. Um, and working on speech therapy, so um, sounds that they may not say correctly, mm -hmm. language, um, the way that they actually communicate, and then also we also work with swallowing. Okay. So patients that have difficulty swallowing. Oh, wow, you don't mm -hmm. think about stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now we're in kind of the lobby-ish area. This has got to be fun for kids. I'm mm -hmm. sure, you know, kids that you see go to the doctor a lot and they might not like it. Tell mm -hmm. me a bit, a bit about how this puts them at ease. Oh, very much. You, the kids most of the time walk in and they absolutely fall in love and mm -hmm. they do not want to leave. <laughs> uh, most of the time we have to turn the lights out and say it's time to leave because yeah. they don't want to leave. And so. this, is, this is just the kind of the main waiting area. I mean, you guys mm -hmm. have these great rooms that we're mm -hmm. going to see in just a little bit that mm -hmm. I bet they just have a blast. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, and that's a lot of times we use the other rooms as rewards. If you work hard in therapy, mm -hmm. you get to go to the ball pit room yeah. or you get to go to the bubble room. Nice. So that's it's definitely great to have those resources here yeah. we're so very lucky yeah you guys are having an yeah. event kind of to spread awareness mm -hmm. about this area tell me a bit about that tomorrow evening um, between six and seven we are going to be having our fall festival so we'll have um, occupational physical and speech therapists here um, working with the public so bring your kids in okay. we're gonna have games we're gonna have crafts um, and we're excited for everybody to see our area we're pretty yeah. we've got some new equipment and we're we're excited about it so yeah, well, we want everybody to come in yeah we're gonna check out some more of this area some of those mm -hmm. rooms we actually have some kiddos here this morning mm -hmm. to kind of show yeah. us how all this stuff really benefits them in their therapy so yes. you got to stay tuned for that for now we'll send it back to you guys in the studio a local health group is incorporating playtime into children's therapy time in their state-of-the-art facility. Ryan Rumba joins us live to show us the Pediatric Therapy Center at Capital Region. Good morning, guys. Happy Wellness Wednesday. Yes, I'm at the Capital Region Medical Center. We're actually at the Sam B. Cook Healthplex. But if you've come here to work out, you probably haven't seen this section of the Healthplex. I'm here this morning with Krista and Pam. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Now, we are in a darker room. Mm -hmm. Krista, you are an occupational therapist right. here. Tell me about what this room and where we're at. This is kind of our sensory calming room. Um, the partners at Capital Region have been very generous at donating um, some of this equipment that we have here. And these, these three pieces of equipment here kind of showcase um, different how lights can kind of tend to calm people down. So we've got Easton back here. He's playing. Uh -huh. Tell me about this this tool back here. This right. Cool. So yeah. use my room. It's like a bubble <laughs> tube. Isn't it cool? Um, so he has these little buttons down here that he can push and changes the colors. So okay. we can work on calming this way. We can also work on um, color recognition and um, upper body strength with pushing. Okay. Very cool. And we've got some lovely guests over oh. here. We're calling him our spaghetti and meatballs over there on the <laughs> feedback. Tell me about what's going on over there. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is um, a wonderful, our kids love this. Um, mm -hmm. So, we do call this spaghetti and meatballs with the octopus <laughs> bean bag. Um, and they can kind of explore the different textures of these light, lighted little le LED tubes. Mm -hmm. um, and you could also change the colors with this little button, yeah. button board down here. So, lots of ways for them to so. interact and get into it. Now, he's wearing a vest. Tell me a little bit about how that vest, I don't know if you can see that Batman vest he's wearing, how that vest helps him. <laughs> yeah, so this, these vests are called weighted vests and they have little bean bags in here that um, provide some weight mm -hmm. and this actually increases their proprioceptive input and helps yeah. regulate some of their um, behaviors okay so that's almost like it, it's calming I was uh -huh. talking about it maybe it's like a hug or having that exactly hold you while you exactly yeah okay 
way, so that kind of helps them out. And the way these are made is pretty interesting. Now, Pam, tell me about how you guys help out Capital Region and you make these vests for them. I, I'm with the Restorative Justice Program with the Department of Corrections, mm -hmm. and we make the weighted vest and the weighted quilts. Um, Isn't that neat? They're made primarily out of donated materials, mm -hmm. and then we're able to provide them to organizations such as this and others, and they can use them here in their rooms or okay. provide them to families. So inmates are making them. Inmates are making That's them, yes. Wow, what a great program. Thank you. Doing something positive. Yes. Maybe out of something not so positive. Right. So that's a great program. Well, when we come back, we're going to check out another area of these, this pediatric therapy center. We've got some great kids here this morning. You don't want to miss it. For now, we'll send it back to you guys. Capital Region Medical Center makes its youngest patients feel at ease with their pediatric therapy center. Ryan Rumba joins us live with a look at Capital Region's pediatric therapy center. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Yeah. Yes, we're at the Pediatric Therapy Center at Capital Region Medical Center. We're actually in the Sandy Cook Health Flex, so if you've ever been here to work out, you might not have seen this area. I'm joined this morning by April. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Now, we've checked out a couple of different rooms here. Mm -hmm. Really cool place for kids to come and mm -hmm. have their therapy and have a little bit of fun. Mm -hmm. Where are we at right now? Um, this is our gross motor room. This is where we work with a lot of our kiddos on running, jumping, climbing, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Got a lot of really great equipment in here. Yeah. Um, right over here, we've got our trampoline that was recently donated by our partner our volunteers. Nice. It's a great thing to work on emerging jumping skills. Mm -hmm. And right behind us, we've got Easton over here playing in the ball pit. <laughs> I bet that's a lot of fun. Um, we've got the ramp and the stairs so kids can work on climbing, jumping, um, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff over there. We've got Mr. Dalton here this mm -hmm. morning. Mm -hmm. Tell that's me about awesome. Dalton and how this machine helps him. Um, well, Dalton is a young man who has cerebral palsy, mm -hmm. and he recently, about a year ago, had surgery on his legs. And so ever since then, we've been working on walking with him and standing okay. and his balance. And this is called a light gate, and it's a great piece of equipment for our kids. You gonna take off? It's gonna Check take off and out. start walking on us. So, yeah. this, so this helps him get on his feet because he is in a wheelchair, right? Exactly, he is, and he does have a walker, but he has hard, a hard time with his walker because he has the lack of trunk control and has a hard time standing up by himself. But he loves his and cars. And so this harness really <laughs> helps keep him, you know, he can work on his posture, his balance, wow. and his walking all at one time. Look at that, he's determined. He, <laughs> he does a great job. <laughs> Go get him. So tell me about, you know, what kind of, what kind of patients do you see in here? other than, you know, patients mm -hmm. like Dalton. We see a wide variety. You know, we see anyone from birth up to 18 over here in the pediatric area. Mm -hmm. Wide variety of diagnoses. You know, anything from mm -hmm. developmental delay, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, injuries. You know, we can really see a wide variety of stuff. So we have a good time back here. Yeah, it seems like a lot of fun. And I bet it puts them at ease, too. Oh, yeah. I'm sure the doc coming to the doctor is not fun. Mm -hmm. But when they come to a place like this, I bet they look forward yeah, to it. Yeah, we try to put them at ease. And usually they don't want to leave. So it works out pretty well. <laughs> that means you're doing your job. Right. Uh, <laughs> we, we have a good time too, the therapist. So. Yeah, you guys are having an open house tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, huh? We're, we're having a fall that. festival tomorrow night at 6. We're going to have this area open to the public. Lots of games, uh, crafts, stuff like that. So it's open to anybody if you want to bring your kids by. We'd yeah, love so to have you. Maybe somebody at home that didn't know this existed, mm -hmm. maybe has a son or a daughter that could benefit from yeah. this, could come by. That'd be great. That We'd love to have them awesome. tomorrow gotta, night at 6. Yeah, I got to thank you guys for having <laughs> us this morning. Thank you, Dalton, for Go being so him. awesome. He's determined this morning. Go He's getting those cars. He is doing there you an awesome go. job. Well, come on out here to the Sandy Cook Health Plex and check out the Pediatric Therapy Center. Dalton's going to run us out of the room this morning. He is going so fast. It's tomorrow at 6 o'clock, and it's open to the public. For now, I'll send it back to you guys. That's really great. Physical and oh, developmental yeah. therapy can be so hard, so it's great mm -hmm. that they make it fun for those kids. And they're kids. making big advances there. Yeah, like. and the kids, both the kids and the uh, therapists enjoy it, so that's mm -hmm. great.